This is uh, Paul Boteri. It's the uh, 7th of July. I'm out here on a uh, range that we run cattle on uh, north of Wells and they, they had a fire that started uh, south of us here and and uh, this field if you look down this fence line we had grazed it. Uh, we just brought cattle out of here about a month ago but we had oh, 150 head of cattle or 160 head of cows in here for about a month and a half. Uh, there was quite a bit of extra feed and we'd hope to come in on the fall, but you can kind of see the benefits of grazing versus uh, not grazing. The, the field to my right uh, hadn't been grazed yet. The, the gentleman that usually grazes it would have came in here shortly, but it hadn't been grazed. Uh, you can see how the fire just kind of crept through in various spots on, on our field here. So anyway, uh, an opportunity to, to see what uh, benefit grazing. The same spot where the uh, burn video was taken. Uh, we had 170 plus head of cows on this field uh, for about a month this spring, around, uh, oh, I think April 20th to May 20th or maybe June 1st. Then we went to the higher country with them. But uh, so uh, a good example of, of uh, how, you know, cattle and grazing can help benefit our environment. They, the, uh, oh, while a, while a plant is green and growing, then it's photosynthesizing and, and you're taking in carbon dioxide and kicking out uh, oxygen and, and converting that uh, carbon into uh, fiber, you know, for the plant. And, uh, and so, you know, it, we've, I, in my opinion, we've done a good job. Uh, we let this grow green all summer. Now it's dry and, and uh, it's headed out, seeded out. We got cows on it stomping the seed to ground and, and Cloven hoofed animals are the best seed planters. So, I mean, we're, we're do, double duty, not only photosynthesizing and, and converting the carbon, uh, kicking out oxygen, we're also stomping new seed in the ground so it's that much better the next year. Good for the old cows.